Hey everyone, welcome back to another Kevin's Creations here on Geektopia Island. I'm Kevin. I'm Cardwell. And today we're bringing a fun new deck that's all about Voltron and up really. And it's going to be interesting to see what it does. But before we get into it, we should remind you guys that we do have a Patreon. The link will be down below. Go check it out. See what you like, see what you don't like. And it really just takes an extra dollar to give us some love and support and we greatly appreciate it. With that, we're going to talk about the Sacred Paladin. And that is our girl Faria. Yep. Um, that is what we're doing with this deck. We're going to make her awesome. And uh, hopefully she gets to win as a paladin. Just go for it. So, Faria, for those that don't know, it is the Alice Origins 1 ruler, the Stranger 10. Uh, judgment is white, white, and blue, and energizes a white and a blue. And whenever a light regalia enters the field under your control, choose one. If it's Excalibur, choose two. And you choose a card from your Stranger deck at random, put it in your hand, destroy a target Rusted Resonator, draw a card, or you pay zero for Judgment. So, any of those regalias that come in that are light regalias, you get to choose one. If it's a Scalibur, you choose two. And usually you're going to want to do the Stranger and something else. It's weird how it feels like simpler times, even though it's not that far <laughs> yeah, away. Yeah, yeah really, it wasn't that bad, but she's still really strong and does a lot for you. Uh, when she judgments, she is a 10-10 precision. And enter, you choose a card from your Stranger deck at random and put it in your, into the field. And then God's Art is Breath of the Sacred Queen, is a blue and a white this card gives plus four, plus four, drain and eternal until the end of turn. Choose a card from your stranger deck at random and put it in your hand. She's awesome when she's on the judgment side just because you're like, hey, cool, you're going to have to waste two spells to kill her. Yeah. Because you're just like, cool, I always have a blue and white open. She's eternal. Yep, done. It, it's what makes her so strong. And there's, an, there's a couple new cards that make her even more ridiculous. And we'll get to them. But the strangers that I chose for this one, we have Undying the Spirit. Uh, it is a blue and one for a 7-7. Seven, seven. With quick cast and flying, enter return up to three non non J resonated non magic stone entities to the owner's hand, so you can hit your regalias, their regalias, or additions, and bounce all those. Yep. Next is the blue wizard. It is one blue for a six six quick cast. Enter cancel target automatic ability of a resonator. It's your lorite. Yeah. It's pretty good. And it's more fair at least. Yeah. Next is Apollon, the god of light. He is a new stranger. He is two white and two for a fourteen seventeen with pierce. Because why not? Why? Yeah. Why? Uh, if damage will be dealt to you, it's dealt to this card instead, and when this card is put into a graveyard from the field, you remove it from the game. If you do, your life becomes 4,000. Or, four, yeah, yeah 4,000. 4, so, you get to go back to full health, and you're like, hey, cool, let's play Force Will again. Just as simple as that. Yeah. Next is Ishtara, the great goddess of kindness. She has two white and two blue for a 10-10. Enter, put a non-stranger resonator from your graveyard into the field, so when she comes into play, you get a free dude. If you get her off of Varya's enter, then you get an extra free dude, so it kind of just works out. Yeah, quite a bit. And then next is Arthur, the uh, the King of Knights. He has Precision and First Strike, and other knights of the round table gain Eternal. And enter, search your deck for a knight of the round table, and put it into the field. So it's relatively simple, because we only really have one or two knights of the round table, so you're going to be able to get him easily. And he's just a relatively good resonator for it. Yep. All right, of course we have uh, Charlotte, the sleeping girl in the castle as her first resonator. It's a blue and a white, zero ten, 10 so it has barrier. And cards named Faria control gain barrier and plus 10, plus 10, so that makes her 20-20 with barrier. That seems fair, yeah. right? And cards named Lars, the Knight of the Sacred Spirit, you already have, uh, you gain eternal. As long as your J-Ruler is Faria, whenever a card named Excalibur enters the field under your control, choose to choose a card from your stranger deck at random, put a card in the Field, put a, yeah, put it in the field. Remove target non-J ruler, non-magic stone anti of the game, or draw two cards. So she's just like an extra regalia trigger, and that's yeah. insane. Yeah, she puts, she sort of puts the front part of Faria on the back part. Yeah, she has different triggers. They're they're draw two instead of one, and remove a dude instead of just kill a dude. But I don't care. Like it's still free, because she's hard to kill. Because she's a zero ten with barrier. Like yeah. you can't just spot remove her. You have to kill her another way. Exactly. And like you said, because sometimes when you're flipped and you draw Regalia, you're just like, oh, this is kind of useless. Well, yeah. Wait. But you don't want to wait. You're going to kill them all. It's on the back side. Uh, next up is Lamrick, the third knight. Uh, she is a white and a blue for a 6-6. Six, six. This card gets plus 2, plus 2 and drain as long as you control a Regalia, which hopefully you will. And then Regalias, you control gain barrier. So we're just giving barrier out to everything. That's our whole goal. Simple as that. Next one is Shakti, of course. The red eye is a master. It's a black and red 6-6. Six, six. Uh, for the effects, for the effects of regalias you control, treat this as you do as a J ruler. Whenever you play a sword art, copy it, and you may choose a new targets for that copy. 
Super powerful. The main reason she's in here is she's a five heroes, and we'll go over that with the next guy. So Lars, the Knight of the Sacred Spirit. He is two white and a blue for a 8-8 eight eight with precision or with first strike and drain. He is also a five heroes. You prevent the first damage that will be dealt to five heroes you control this turn, and you may pay attribute what five heroes with light will. So your Shakti is with just white with light will, so you don't really care. You don't play her otherwise. Um, so it's kind of it's kind of dangerous to have a card you can't play exactly without having another card, but he's worth it because he makes all your other stuff work so well. Yeah, with Charlotte he gains eternal. Yeah, with Charlotte it helps. Alright, and our first spell is Light of the Sacred Spirit. It's a one drop sword art quick cast. Choose one if you control uh, Lars, which you might, you may choose both instead. Remove target creature with power uh, with a 900 attack or more, which is insanely awesome for one. And search your deck for a five hero resonator, reveal it, and put it in your hand. So you can get shocked to you with it. Yeah. Next is Aura of the Sacred Sword. It is a blue and a white for a quick cast sword art. You and entities you control gain barrier until the end of turn, draw a card. And if you control Excalibur and a J ruler named Defaria, you can play this card without paying cost. So if your J ruler is flipped, then you're like, hey, cool. No, we get yeah, barrier. Let's get out of here. Uh, next is Sacred Wave Blade. It's a blue and a white sword art. Quick cast. Remove target resonator or addition from the game. If the card was awakened, choose a card from your stranger deck and put it in your hand, which is awesome. So for three, you get rid of a dude and you get a dude. So yeah. Good value. Uh, the first regalia we're using is Caduceus, which is a white and red. And it's your J ruler gains drain is mainly why it's here. Yeah. You can add two colors or two white or two red, but we don't really have much for red to play. But mainly it's just for the white. Yep. And the next one is uh, Wings the Arch Archangel. It's an Archangel. It's a green and a white. Mythic, of course. Uh, your J ruler gains flying, so it helps produce for that. And of course, it does produce a wider green. Play this for God's art, sword arts, or angels. Yeah. Next is Excalibur. It is her regalia, which is a blue and a white uh, mythic. And your J really gets plus four, plus four. So just let's make her big. Yep. Produce a white and a blue. Spin it's only for God's arts, strangers, and swords arts. So it's there to help you with all the major stuff. Yeah. Next, of course, is Waking the Sacred Queen. It's a quick cast, white, white, blue. Choose one, search your deck for a light regalia and put it in the field, which is amazing, or gain 1,000 life, and draw a card, or rest uh, or rest target resonator, J resonator. Your J resonator is gained plus 400, plus 400 in a turn. So that is an addition to all the, the three choices that you can do, which is pretty nice. Yeah. Uh, the next card is the last secret sword. It is two red and a black for a sword art. You may banish... All but one entity you control and discard in your hand rather than pay this card's cost. This card deals 1,000 damage to your opponent. Yep. That is how you're playing this card. Just know that because we don't really have much of a way to make other mana. If you have the white red regalia, you, oh no, you, that, that's for mage arts. So you can't do that either. But really you're just using this to get them to like 10 or 20. Because if you have Shakti, then you can play this card for free and keep Shakti as your one permanent, and then it copies it twice to be like, hey, take 20. Yeah, seems pretty good. So you're only playing to 20 then. Hey, it sounds good. Next one is Holy Nova. It's two white, two blue sword art. Destroy all resonators. If this card was awakened, choose a card from your stranger deck at random, put it on the field, and awakening cost is ridiculous. It's two white and two blue, so eight mana all together. But when you have all the regalias, it kind of helps out. Yeah, to make it pretty cheap. I mean, you can play it for the full awakening, but mostly it's there for four minutes to kill the board because you're you're kind of gonna take your time. Yeah. And you're using Faria to get there, so. Yeah, it says all resonators, not all J slash resonators, so yeah. your Faria will be alive to swing in for sure. Yeah, that is the deck. The land, the stones are really simple. We have Adaractus Memoria, which is the for the color of the ruler. Uh, one Magic Stone of the Heat Ray to give you the red, so you can play your Shakti. One Magic Stone of Dark Depths, so it gives you the blue or the black to play the Shakti. And then Light Vapors, which is the white blue stone. So, mostly we're just playing white or blue. Every lane adds either one of those two colors. And it's just there to help fix it if you need it. But mostly you're trying to play... You're using other cards to play the cards in the deck for the most part. Like Awakening of the Sacred Queen gets you your Regalias. And Lars helps you play Shakti. Yep. But overall, this deck's going to be fun just because you get to play Voltron. And, I mean, for those that... Played it when Zero was back in the day. That's what you did with her. Is you're like, hey, she's awesome. Or Valentina. Valentina did the same thing. Mm -hmm. This is just, this is the best. This is the best you can do right now with that. So the deck list will be down below, guys. Check it out and leave a like in the comments. And we'll we'll talk to y'all again next time. Goodbye.
Also guys, I just remind y'all to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and if you want to keep up to date on all our future content, make sure you click that bell. It'll give you all the notifications you need. With that, we'd like to go ahead and give a big thank you to all our fans that support us through the year, and especially our Patreon support people. Uh, we do like to give a shout out to our Mythic and Above uh, supporters, and that would be Dwayne Higgs. Thank, thank you very you much. much. We love you.